Welcome to our channel HerbTech. We are planning to give a few sessions on Google Classroom. Google developed this tool in the year 2014, but it became popular recently after the outbreak of COVID-19. It creates a virtual meeting place for teachers and students. Teachers can structure a course, design topics, can give assignments and grades. Apart from these basic stuff, so many features are available in the Google Classroom. Google Classroom is available for free for anyone. So let's start our session. So now uh, we can start our session on Google Classroom. So first uh, we can search Google Classroom in Google or you can type like this classroom.google.com. So once you type this, as I was already signed in with my email ID, uh, it will directly go to the class. And uh, one of the prerequisites for joining or creating a class in Google Classroom is that you should have a Gmail ID. So uh, this is a class that I've already created for you and BCom Finance and Taxation third year. I've added only one student uh, just to show the, how to add a student and uh, stuff like that. So when I click on that, you can see four major options. So these are the major four tabs that you need to work on. And they are stream, classwork, people and grades. So before moving to these four important sections, first we need to create a class. So let's see how to do that. So when we click on this space, we can see classes, classes, and then we need to click on this space like plus, we can see two options like join class and create class. As a teacher, you need to create a class and as a student, you need to join a class. So first, I'm showing the perspective of a teacher and I'm creating a new class. So this is an agreement or this is a document that should be should give a tick mark, continue and we need to name our class. So I'm I'm going to name the class as BCom Computer Applications Section 3 or we can say third year and the subject is SPSS1. I can allow the room or not it doesn't matter at all and then click on create it can take a second or two that's it it's creating a class and once a class is created it would appear like this become computer applications third year so this is my new class and you can share your announcements with your class. Now we got our class created and we can select the theme. Google has already provided some themes. We can select the theme according to the nature of the class. So I am selecting this theme, select class theme. It's changing the theme. If I need to upload a photo, I can do that from my computer. So these are all simple steps and you should not waste so much time for this. So I could not find any pictures as of now. Let me see. If I have any pictures with me, so you can uh, upload any picture, and if you don't want to upload, that's fine. So 
now the important part that is class code so once the structure of the or the layout of the class is created you can add teachers and students to this classroom we can add students by two ways one is by sending the class code to all the students and they can join the class and the second method is you can invite them by email now first let's see how we can invite students by displaying the class code so this is a code of a class once this code is sent to all the students they can join the class and the second method is we can invite students by sending an email so i'm planning to add one student so click on invite and the invitation is gone so when he opens his email he can see the invitation from my part so he just needs to open his classroom or open his email click on join so he's in the class and that's how students can join a classroom now we have one student and one teacher and when we click on the student we have these many options available email remove and mute so these are the options available for the teacher to perform on the student on a particular student or or on all students so the next portion is classwork